What's going on, Rick Crypto here? Uh, tonight's going to be a short one. Just want to jump on here. Today was a pretty active day in the cryptocurrency world when it came to news. So wanted to hop in here to keep you updated. Cryptocurrency got some great news out of the ongoing court cases for FTX coming out with FTX will repay its crypto customers in full. Now, will that happen in 2025? I don't see that happening anytime soon as many of these exchanges that have gone through bankruptcy or it takes many, many years for the debtors to be repaid. Then there was the Fed chair pal says he does not think the rate cuts in March is likely. Now, the markets reacted pretty bearish to this news with Bitcoin selling off and many of the alts also. Now, this may not be a direct correlation no news meaning good news so this could just be market fluctuation or we could be seeing some pretty hard sell-off pressure in the next month or so leading up to march but with some bullish sentiment also coming out today we had 10 draper developers are done experimenting with crypto they want to bring successful applications back to bitcoin yeah buddy now that's exciting this could be a big push for Ordies and many other people maybe not wanting to explore other layer two options and focusing on really their energy on Bitcoin. And as you can see, the overall market was down today. And surprisingly, with the good news about FTX, FTT, which has basically become a meme coin now, is down 17%. You also have Psy down 10%, but the leader is Tau up 13%. With Tim Draper's news, you can see Ordi is up almost 4%. But the main scare really came out this morning. Now, the story started out as XRP was hacked. Up until about, I would say, 10.30 or 11 today, the news changed, and it wasn't XRP, but the XRP co-founder. He was hacked for 112 million XRP. They were able to identify the hack and the multiple addresses that the XRP was sent to through the exchanges. And the total value of the hack was a little over $100 million. It seems like there's going to be more and more drama the closer we get to the halving. The excitement's coming and people are not wanting to rest on this. So it's important to keep an eye on the crypto news for FUD, you know, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And just look back at the numbers. What are the numbers telling you? We have seen a lot of the big movers will say something on CNN or NBC and then do something completely different with their actual funds. So if you'd like to stay informed, make sure to go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to stay up to date. My name is Rick Crypto, and I will see you in the next one.